They have four excellent qualities. They are the most forbearing of people and times of discord. They don't lose their heads. Many of us do, don't we? But they don't. They are calm. Even in war, when their cities are being bombed to bits. So they are the most forbearing of people in times of discord. This is Ahmed in the house. They are the quickest of people to recover from calamity. Again, look at the Germans after World War II. whole country is blown to smithereens. And then 20 years don't pass, and it's the economic miracle. And it wasn't just them. Others did that too, didn't they? The Russians, the English, and others. So they recover quickly. And they are the most likely of people to renew an attack after retreat. So they will retreat, but be careful, because they're coming back. They're coming back. And then he said, and they are the best of people toward the poor, and the orphan, and the weak. Wow. These are your enemies. These are deadly enemies. And you know that when we fight each other, we dehumanize our enemies. That's what we did to the Germans in World War I and World War II. They were Huns. That's what we did to the Japanese. They're monkeys. We didn't say, no, they have excellent Zen qualities. We didn't say anything like that. But see, this is what he does. They have good qualities, and this is the way we should be. And these people have good qualities, all of these people, whether they're black, whether they're white, whether they're Hispanic, whatever they may be. And of course, they've got some qualities that need to be helped. But you have to know them. And then Amr thought about it some more. And he said, they have a fifth attribute that is both beautiful and excellent. They are the best of people in checking the oppression of kings. Wow. Doesn't it give you goosebumps? It gives me goosebumps. See, and that means, this is why you will conquer them. Because you know them and you respect them. This is why Salah al-Din would do that later, because he knew them very well. He knew their psychology. So, this is part of the cultural imperative. You've got to know your people.